Hey everyone, John here, and today I'm going to show you how I hybrided this 27cm tall Vokes body, uh, the top half of this, onto this body. So, because I think everyone's seen this hybrid that I've done, so as you can see, she has Bo Peep's hips, but the Vokes upper body. And forgive me for my voice, I'm very sick right now, but hopefully th that won't be too much of an issue fil filming this, so, yeah. What you need is a 2019 Mattel Bo Peep doll. Uh, as you can see, she has a really thin waist and really big hips. And I used a Vox uh, body, but I know that you could use a... Um, Obitsu body as well, um, but since I don't have that, I only have this. Um, and the reason why I taped this up is just because I do not want to deal with YouTube censorship. I don't want to deal with any of that. I just want to show you how this is all done. So, what else you need is a hot glue gun, um, like these rubber hairband things, because you know, yeah. Um, I use plastic nips, but you can use. Um, nail clippers to cut along the plastic, um, a tiny screwdriver set to um, disassemble this body, and so um, you also need um, a pot of water, a metal sieve, and um, also something to actually cut across Bo Peep's body just so you can assemble this onto that. I recommend watching the video all the way through because I probably forgot something in the beginning. So this is done very much on the fly. Um, so the first thing that we should do is to get the internal skeleton of this body apart. So this is how I disassemble my body. So just the Vogue's arms are very easy to pull out. Take off the chest plate. And here. Um... So, um, from what I remember, these mostly come apart, except they are glued at the crotch. So, you have to be very careful with this, otherwise you can crack it, and even if you're not using this, um, it's always good not to trash your doll parts as much as you can. So, I used my little plastic nips to try to break apart this gently, but... Uh, <laughs> This was a lot easier on my other um, attempt on this, so, so I, yeah, if you can just kind of crack <laughs> that apart, yeah, then, so, as you can see, I did a very bad job because there's a camera right in front of my face, but, um, if you can just kind of pry this off, okay. Looks like this version of the Vox body, uh, they glued along here as well. So uh, I'm gonna try running a blade over this a couple times just to crack open the seam. So okay, so I had to do this off screen, but I did manage to crack apart the seam and this one here. So um, mostly, most of the time, Vox bodies are meant to come apart, but since um, I don't know how old this is. I had to find mine on eBay. I don't know whether the previous owner um, glued it together themselves or what, but... So, to, so the thing that we want is to get this part off so we can stick it into this body here, so... Okay. This is a lot harder than it looks. Without... Okay. Okay. So that's all we need. So this I'm just gonna put away into my doll parts pile in case I use it for the future. Cause you know, I can't say no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we got this part out. So. When we cut open the bow peep across here under the bust, the idea is to put this into there. So, 
since I want to have the top of this body to line up perfectly with that, I usually, I would put this in here first, and then line up the arm sockets. Because you wouldn't want the inner skeleton part to be either too high or too, like, too high up in the body or too low in the body. Um, if when you're putting it into, uh, when you're connecting the pieces together. So, because then the arms won't line up, then the top of the neck won't line up, and then it's just like a whole lot of issues that would be easier if you just put it together like this. So now we've prepared the Volk's body. Now we have to deal with this issue. Looking at these two, um, even though the waist are about the same width, the, um, the part here is very wide. So we're going to have to um, cinch it together using um, some of these hair ties and then we have to boil it over a pot of water. So let's get this happening. Okay, so first just kind of remove your doll's head. So again, into the parts box. And since I always use this um, even if I'm not going to use the upper body for anything, I do like to remove the anchor points for easy head swaps if I ever need to use this part of the neck for any kind of custom, so. So, yeah. Uh, we also need to remove the arms so it'll be easier to boil, and so, um, yeah. Uh, we just need to, like, carefully grip it. So, like, make sure that you hold this you try to keep it as straight as possible. You don't want to bend it either this way or that way because I do not know how to fix the issue of it being warped stuff. So you have to be very careful but very firm when you pull it out. Okay. Sorry, I, oh, <laughs> I'm very short-sighted so I had to do that off-screen as well but... There's the arms removed. Make sure you keep all these pieces somewhere you know where to keep it. And then so, since I am going to boil it, I have to disassemble this body just so I don't want the other pieces to warp. So, <sighs> okay. So the basic concept is if you you want to be very careful about how you pop the hips off because if you snap the hip peg, I, I cannot help you with that, so... Um, yeah, so you just kind of have to pull it away and just make sure you're very careful with that. Um, yeah, so... So now, the main concept is to get this band to be as tight as possible, but we want to sit it up here under the bust. The way, the way the body's shaped now, it's just going to naturally slide down like that, so I'm just going to have to, like, try to keep the body like that. And, yeah, even now, even with this, so I'm going to try putting on a second uh, rubber band thing, or like another hair tie. Um, So, yeah. Uh, since one rubber band is like, it's not tight enough, in my opinion, so I always like to add a second one. So, this is what I. So, I just put one more on top. So, like, wrap it like that. And then, so, twist it under the arm like that. And so. And then do the same on this side. So, under the bust, pull it out, twist, and then wrap it to hit around the neck. And so, you just have to be very careful about all this. Because, um, I've got, I learned this method about cinching dull waist um, off Instagram. It's just, the base concept is if you boil it for a long time, like the rubber bands will naturally contract as the plastic gives way. And so we just want to shrink this down just enough so this and this are the same width. So let's get to the kitchen. Hey, tail. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. Um, I'm about to boil this. 
the water's about to boil, so as you see, it's just a pot of water. I'm trying to get this. The reason why I use a metal sieve is because I don't want my the plastic of this to touch the actual metal part of the pot itself, especially when it's rapidly boiling like this. And so, yeah. So the sieve helps it keep it not touching the sides and melting and doing other weird shit. So, yeah, um, basically now, uh, I'm just going to put this in here for <coughs> uh, four minute intervals. So I'm just going to put the timer on. So And yeah, so we'll see what happens in about four minutes. A few minutes later. Okay, so as you can see, it's a little warped, but I'm gonna run this under cold water and take off the bad to see if I need to boil this some more. So, okay, since I'm just gonna keep this water boiling, but let's see what the damage is. Okay, so, okay. As you can see, it's not perfect, but I'm gonna try another four minutes to try to get this to be a little more cinched. Okay. Okay, even though there is a little indent there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. As you can see. So, hopefully, another four minutes. Hopefully, this will shrink down a little bit more. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so four more minutes, and there is starting to get more of a shape. The reason why I don't just leave the body in there for more than like four minutes at a time is because when I've experimented on it, um, it always warped the plastic so much it gave stress marks, it tore it. So, as you can see here, even though the effect now is really extreme, uh, there is no stress marks, there's no tearing, and, yeah, so, I think, I think one more round in it, just so, um, it's as, um, rounded as possible for the torso to accept it, so, so I'm just gonna, Tie it up again here. Yeah, see? Now now it's gone so small that I'm able to tie it, but here we go. Another Yeah. So another four minutes to go. So see you soon. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, so it's only been about two more minutes, but this looks like it's about the right width, so I'm not going to risk it anymore, so I'm just going to run this under cold water and then assess the damage. So, yeah. Okay, so this is what her body looks like now, so compared to that, see? It's roughly the same width, and it's about at the same height where I want it, so... Um, it is very warped, but considering how drastic the difference is from, like, this to, like, in like that, I'm pretty happy with it. So, um, the next thing that I need to do is to cut off the top of this body now. So, um, what I usually do is get my Dremel bit, use one of my cutting discs, and go, like, meow, 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 and then that'll cut it off. But that's very noisy, and I have to do it outside, so... See you in a bit. Later that same evening. Hey, so here is the body cut in half. So, pew. Um, there is a bit of unevenness. So I'm going to use my little plastic nips here. Um, you can use nail clippers, but um, since I do a lot of customizing, I invested money for a pair of like plastic nips. So, um, so uh, it doesn't matter if it's a little uneven. Um, it is going to get covered up by the top of the body, so as long as it's generally the same length all the way around, uh, you just need to have it beveled edged, so yeah, 
let's just get this thing started. And yeah, so now it should be able to fit in just enough. Um, yeah, so now we need to permanently stick this top half to the bottom half. So, um, as you can see, it just kind of jumbles everywhere. So, having the arms in place keeps the torso in place and it keeps the skeleton part all together. So, let's go on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is to um, put hot glue into here, and so when you press in this little peg part into here, it should create a really, really strong um, connection, and so you'll be able to maintain the posability and stuff without it, um, that, without it just being stuck there. So um, to make sure the hot glue doesn't go all the way into um, the hips and to like clog it up stuff. I put a little bit of a buffer of a uh, scrunched up foil just so I can fill out the body a bit. And looking closer at this right now, you can see the body did not warp together very well. But since I'm not going to, um, you know, put the stone too much revealing clothing around the waistline, um, that doesn't matter too much to me. But that is a risk you take if you try doing this mod yourself. So, yeah. Okay, another thing that I forgot to say before we put in the hot glue is that we need to put a little bit of a mold release on this peg so it doesn't just glue directly to the hot glue. Um, you can use Vaseline, but since I don't have any, I usually just put a tiny bit of hand soap around this peg. Like this. Just to make sure um, it's nice and lubricated. And yeah, now let's start doing this. So. Yeah, just so. Just fill this cavity up with uh, hot glue. Yeah, this is very, very difficult to do without with the camera right in my face. But um, so yeah, just yeah, just fill it all up. And then we just plug this in. So. Then we just let the hot glue cool down before we start moving it, so yeah. So here is our final hybrid. Um, as you can see, since we put that mold release on it, so the hand soap, the doll does maintain most of its torso articulation. And since um, I like the Bo Peep's arms more than the Vogue's hands, um, I did end up just carving the uh, pegs off down so it fits into the <laughs> pegs here. Hopefully this video has been of use to someone out there because um, I'm very sorry about how unorganized this all was. And thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage.